Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate table widget for you. In the table widget, as you can see, there is the option for the table header. In the table header, you are you have the option for the row or the cell. First of all, you need to add an item. Once you add an item, you have the option for the action. In the action, you can select start new row or add new cell. You need to start new row in the beginning of the table header. And from the next, you need to add add new cell. So, for example, let's remove this and go with the first one here we have selected row and start new row then you need to add new item then you have the option for the cell in that you need to select add new cell then you have the option for the text in the content box then you have the option for the icon or image You also have the font awesome and icons mine. Then you have the image option. Right. And in the advanced step, you can select the column span and row span values. Then you have the option for the column width. You also have the option for the color and the background color, which all you can manage from this advanced step. As you can see here, these are the our headings and these are the values selected from here. You have all the options available here. This background color and the color option also available in the style tab. But if you want the different heading have different type, different color, then you can select that from here. Once you create the table header, it's time to table content. In the table content, again, you need to start content area just like we did in the header. And then you need to add further content. It's taking a big time because it has lots of data available. And if you have a long tables, Please wait for a moment because Elementor takes a time when there is lots of data. Now, if we talk about the table content, as we mentioned, first will be a start new row, then we will start adding cell. Right. So let's go with this cell. Into that, we have added an image. You can see it here. Or you can put the icon, whatever you want. Then there is the advanced option in which you can add column span or row span. There is also option to convert this cell into table heading. If you want more than one header rows, then you can use these options. Right? In the content, you also have the option for the button. If you select the button, you have the option for the button, the link and its content. And all the styling part will be available in the style tab. Now, keep on adding more cells as per your needs. If you need more rows, then you can add a blank row in between. This way you can manage all those things. Then in the advanced setting, pardon, it's taking a bit more time, but it will be available soon. Yeah, here it is. Then you have the option for the sortable table. <coughs> Sorry, the sortable table is this sorting algorithm which will useful for sorting purpose 
then you have the option for the search bar you can enter its field name all the stylings will be available in style tab then you have the option for the show entry drop down we also have the mobile responsive options where there are two options one will be a default and another will be one by one let's see what is the difference between them let's go to the mobile screen in the mobile screen you can see oh it's messed up just a second let's go back to the beginning yeah here you go then this is the mobile responsive one by one option that means every header will be here and the values will be here so everything will be in a separate table that is helpful for responsive options when your tables are too much complex you can see everything will look nice and decent and clean right and the second option which is default you can see that over here in which your all field will be hidden unless you will swipe that right in mobile you just need to swipe and it will be so all the details so there are two options for the responsive let me show you the responsive heading options as well let's keep table header for a while and here is the header mobile responsive style in which you have the typography options for the title then you have the padding you have the heading cell width you have text alignment options you have all the color options and spacing options with the border options available so you can play with this these options are just for the responsive so let's get back to the desktop screen we are done with the advanced settings let get let's get back to the style settings in the style in the table header you have the option for the typography padding text alignment row color row background color apply border to if you want to show the border and if you want to hide the border all the options are available so you can manage those things over here you have the border type border width border color everything every options are available here then this is the mobile responsive options which don't need us we already discussed about that then you have the options for the table body in the table body you again have the typography padding text alignment vertical alignment the row color strip effect this effect you can turn on to have a strip effect so one will be a black and one will be a gray so you can manage that that way let me show you this is the strip effect you also have the color options on the hover you have the border type width and color option <laughs> you again have the button options which are padding typography text color background type color image every options are available and most of the options are with the responsive options so you can manage all the all the properties and all the cosmetics of each element in different devices you also have the option for the box shadow then in the cell if you select icon or image here are the options for them you have the options for the icon color its size its position its spacing border radius image spacing all the options are available here then as we discussed 
if it are on searchable table or show entries in table here are the options for them all the color the border typography input size and every options are available here then there is the option for on scroll view animation we have a separate video for this you can check it out and you will have all the details available there then there is the advanced tab which are the default settings from the elementor so all these are discussions for the table widget of the plus add-ons if you have any questions write us in the comment box below and like us and share us and sub subscribe us for more video tutorials like this thanks for watching